Hey guys, it's Angie again and we are playing Talos Principle and last time it was quite interesting because we fell through the floor, we read some very interesting articles about the morality of preserving humanity in this condition as it is right now and we got a bit sad and we completed a little puzzle and it was nice because it wasn't a very complicated puzzle is this my message yeah it is <laughs> the conservatory right what we'll find in the conservatory <gasps> water i wish i could splash <laughs> There are so many windows, so I guess they, they are going to be useful, right? Here we have a blue thingy and a red laser, and here we have a red thingy. Can I see a red thingy? Any there is another connector. Oh, and there it is! There is another red thingy. Uh-huh. Okay, so from here, I think this is a perfect spot. Bam. Yeah. And I, and I can go here. And I have another connector. All right. Hmm. A connector here. And a connector. Oh, okay. Now I, now I see. All right. So I need to do... I need to connect those lasers. All right, I think I know, I think I know. I'll put you over here. I think it's a great spot. And take you, because we need to go around the lead right. Wait, but I have only two. <gasps> but wait, 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 wait. There's a door over here. So this creates a problem, but I don't need this door over here. So, okay, okay, all right. So instead of here, I will put you, I think here, right? Bam. And bam, okay. And now I will take you here and where is it? Where is it? There. Bam. Of course it won't work. No! Alright. And you here. Bam. See? Everything works. This is suspiciously easy. <laughs> I mean, or maybe I just got that good. Who knows? Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> I think this is just, you know, because I started a new building, and it's just slowly easing me into this new area. I haven't used any tips from the messengers yet. Okay, I need keys. Oh, uh, oh, it's only a shadow. Where can I find... Okay, let's open here. There is a ball of death. They are shooting stuff over there. And there is a jammer over here. Alright, so we have a jammer. And it seems so easy, like I could just open this door and try to run, but I will die instantly. Okay, so maybe we'll start here to check how it all works here. Oh, wait! Is this the shooting gun outside? So I can try jamming from here to get to you. But first, I need those keys. And I'll probably need that jammer. Okay, I have the keys. There is the ball of death. And I can now open this door. Right, right, right. 
Okay. Okay, so... Yeah, so now I can access it from here. I could jam it. Maybe I'll do it right now. You know? Just leave. Thank you. Let's jam it. And I'll just quickly run there to check what I got. Because it was outside, right? Yeah, it was this one. Okay. And I have a connector. Right. What do I need it for? <laughs> okay. Okay. I have a connector. What do I do with it? <laughs> Maybe I'll just leave it here. Will it stay here? Okay, just, just stay here, alright? And wait for me. Wait for me to uh, come up with the reason why I need you. <laughs> okay, um, I think this is an. Um, there's another jammer. I'm gonna need it. I... No, you'll still kill me. Right? I'll just try... Can I just... Oh, I can. Alright. Give me anything. Hmm. Jammers. There's one over there. Maybe, but no, there, there isn't any window. Hmm. And this is probably the exit. How do I get there? With only one jammer? I jump through the window. <laughs> no, I can't. Of course. Um, hmm. Maybe I missed something in the in here. Have I missed something here? No, not really. Hmm. Maybe I missed something there. No, you you blow into my face. No. <sighs> okay. What can I do? Oh wait, I think I haven't been here. Are you going around? I think you are. <gasps> and there is another. No, you are going back. All right. All right. Jammer and I need it. Whoop, 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 whoop. Just slowly in the middle. Oh, come on. I. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, alright. I have two jammers now. Which is very, 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 very fortunate. Because I need those two jammers. You know what? But I'll do something like this. Them, take the other jammer and now run to open this door. Back. Them. And now take back my jammer. Bye. And open this door from the other side so I can take you. Unlock this. Take another jammer. Oh. Bam. Bam. Take you. Oh. Oh, 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 oh no. Wrong way. <laughs> yeah, this way. So now I can... I have three proper jammers to lock all of these guys. Right? Oh, a lot of running. Just leave you here. Take you. Run with you. Over here. Lock you. And now, the final one. Let's take you and jump the door. 
and get my thingy. Right. Very good. Very good, very nice. And I got a connector, which I have no idea what, what should I use for. Wait, where is it? I thought I left it here. Oh, there it is. Do you have some new news for me? Oh, you came back to keep me company. Okay, then. Humor me with a little hypothetical. Imagine that a few hours from now, you climbed to the top of that tower. There is a flash of light, then magic happens. Then you find yourself in a real world, living whatever you take to be normal life there. What, do we, what would you do then? Um, what's best for me or what's right? Well, I don't know. Because I don't know the situation. What do you mean? What do you mean by, by what's right? Hmm. I think I would do what's best for me. Yes, that's the general, general impression I was getting of you. Good, perhaps we won't have to work so hard at this after all. Before we continue though, I want to double check we're on the same wavelength here. Suppose you get out there with all the human beings. What you're going to do is rinse them for all they've got without a care for a soul? I would do what's best for me within a moral framework. Yeah. Oh, so you do have some scruples. Scruples? After all. So tell me, this obligation you feel, is it only applicable for, for the real world or does it apply here as well? Um, I would say they are universal. What a um, magnanimous dictator you would make. Of course, I'm sure it, will, it would take a dictator to enforce a single moral call to the entire universe. So come on then, what's your magic formula of choice? And let me warn you that this time you're going to have to choose just one. The more equal everyone's share, the better. The more goodness in the world, the better consequences don't matter our reasons do i see no way of explaining what i believe huh. the consequences don't matter our reasons do is very very let's say it would encourage people to do bad things you know because I think, because there are some people who will explain as they were trying to do their best. Like, I would say many inhumane ex experiments were explained like that. The more goodness in the world, the better. But I again would say that good, it can be pretty um, subjective. Because sometimes what's good for you it will not be good for me. The more equal everyone's share, the better. But it could create problems at the point when somebody is feeling like they are being uh, unjustly deducted something. Like they feel they are working more than somebody else, but somebody else requires more, let's say, attention. Like I would say it's a problem in today's world with um, arguing about the disabled people because unfortunately there are some people who feel that we shouldn't be helping them that they are only waiting on our society which is not true but unfortunately there are people who think that <sighs> i see no way to explain what i believe but if i was to enforce what i believe i think i would still go with more equal everyone's share the better Stranded on the all egalitarian plateau, are you? I suppose you'd best tell me exactly which good it is that everyone should have an equal share of. Happiness, wealth, liberty and rights, basic goods like food and healthcare. I'm not in a position to solve these problems, all of the above. Hmm. Happiness is subjective, so... Wealth is very hard. Liberty and rights. 
I will go with basic goods like food and healthcare. Interesting. Suppose you arrive in your utopia and find the people there to be incredibly lazy and thus the volume of goods available to spread around is very meager. Being a hard worker, would you not complain that you deserve a bigger share of the goods than your lazy neighbor? If you are alone, you would enjoy the full benefits of your own endeavors. This is very hard living in a post-communist country, you know. <laughs> Because I would say that there, there should always be a, like some kind of, I don't know, I don't want to say control, but I guess. Maybe a, a lazy neighbor is unlucky the same way a physically disabled person is. And suppose you discover another planet with billions of starving people. Will you extend to them the same generosity? I would. And it sounds to me as you're, you'd better pray you don't wind up in a universe of beggars. You know, there are sh shed loads of broken theories less ridiculous than the one you're chewing though. How about I give you a bit of space to consider them? Um... I mean, I, to be honest, in my opinion, there is a problem with uh, Milton's logic because he assumes that uh, he assumes extremes. In my opinion, a planet full of beggars, a planet full of starving people. Well, you know, there is a saying that uh, give the man a fish and he will be fed for a day, but teach a man to fish and he won't starve ever I don't know maybe I'm just too idealistic but oh and if the real world turns out to be everything what wait there, there's something appeared before the oh well I'll have to check it once I'm editing the video because then I'll be able to read it <laughs> Okay. All right. I think we we did quite a lot, and we argued with Milton, who was an asshole as usual. I mean, this is a very complicated issue, but I would say that right now we can see that capitalism is not exactly working, and you just need to find like like a perfect balance between rewarding those who are really hard working and supporting those who are not able to it's, it's I, I would say it's just basic human decency because i am lucky to be perfectly healthy at least i think so and to be able to work and i don't have a problem supporting those less fortunate like taking care of elderly people or i don't know supporting somebody else's healthcare. Like, I don't have problems with that. So, setting up an extreme situation like, you know, I am the only person who is hardworking and there is a planet full of starving people or a planet for, full of beggars. Like, no, it's, it's not gonna happen. Like, those are extremes and they are, I think, they are improbable you know but anyway i would love to hear what you think if you if you be so kind and leave it in the comments because this is a serious problem <sighs> but right now thank you guys so much for watching and i hope i'll see you next time bye